so controversial opinions are always fun. There's no possible way that this video goes wrong whatsoever. So what I did is I went ahead and asked you guys on my Twitter to send me some of your most controversial TF2 opinions. And I like to think we got quite a few good ones. Literally, as I was writing the script to this, there's two people arguing in the replies to that tweet. And when I was writing this, I hadn't posted that tweet that long ago. Now, this might be a bit controversial of me, but people who aren't subscribed to the Spiky Mikey YouTube channel just aren't as cool as the people who are. 60% of the people who are watching this video right now aren't actually subscribed. So if you are one of them, please scroll down, click the button. I would really appreciate it. Let's start with the big one. I had two people pretty soon after posting my tweet and a lot more since then, pretty much saying that TF2 was dying or is already dead. Now, I'm sure depending on who you ask that this is actually a really popular opinion and they agree with you fully or it's the complete opposite and people are telling you that no, TF2 isn't dead. I am obviously going to be on the side where I disagree with the statement that TF2 is dead. One, because I kind of have to be. But two, because I also genuinely believe it when I say it. I don't think TF2 is dead at all. But being honest, is TF2 in the best place it has ever been at? God, no. But is this game completely dead? No, absolutely not at all. There's still so much life left in TF2, at least I think so. The community are still creating amazing things for this game, so even if Valve don't update it, there is still, a lot of the time, stuff that you might not have played before that you can just jump in a server and try out. I feel like I talk about this one a lot, and this is probably the most controversial TF2 statement you could possibly make at this point, and the debate about whether TF2 is dead or isn't dead has genuinely been going on for years now pretty much since overwatch came out even before that people were saying tf2 is dead and it is still here for now there's obviously a load of different ways you can look at this if you just go based off the player count you'll see tf2 did really well last year beating its peak players a number of times throughout the year so that could suggest that the game isn't dead but on the other side you could argue that some of the bots that invaded the servers were inflating those numbers as well but nobody knows exactly how many bots there are but then it's like it could be a lot it could not be that many and the number regardless would still be inflated i see some people say that literally half of the players in tf2 right now are bots and i i'm sorry i genuinely can't agree with that there is no way there is like 40,000, 50,000 bots always on TF2. I know it feels like people run into bots all the time, but the fact is you could be running into the same bot over and over again. Especially if you do stuff like I do, I jump servers a lot. So if I kick a bot from one game, there's a very good chance I will end up with that same bot in another game because it's been kicked from the one I was just in. So it's not a different bot, it's the same bot in a different game. Either way, going back to my point, it just depends on how you think about TF2 and what kind of side you're on anyway mentally. Speaking of bots though, another reply on my tweet said they were actually quite a fun challenge. And to be honest, when they aren't absolutely destroying a server and maybe there's one of them in the game, I would absolutely agree with that. I absolutely love to try and headshot the bots while I'm playing Sniper. Even though I know that the bots don't care, they can't get mad at me if I kill them and taunt or whatever, but I feel good about it, and that's all that really matters. Like, yeah, the person who's hosting that bot probably doesn't see that, and maybe doesn't even see the fact that the bots died at all, but I know it's happened, and I feel good about it. It makes the thing that should be a huge issue into something that is actually quite fun and adds, for me, something to my streams. But if it's for you guys, it adds a little bit of a challenge to your regular games anyway. People are also just really good at kicking bots now, at least in EU servers. So I really don't get much time to try and headshot them before the bot is gone and people just kind of move on after that. But it is kind of bad and I do understand it that it is, it is awful that this has just become part of TF2 life right now. But until Valve actually do something, which, let's be honest, might not ever happen, Valve kind of have us by the balls right now. I already thought more of a billion dollar company. I did, and I don't know why. Anyway, I am writing this script while responses are still coming in, and I've just seen that JPEG said that there is a lot of hats and cosmetics in the game that look kind of bad or are entirely redundant. And as somebody who loves cosmetics in this game, I can absolutely agree with this one. There's a lot of cosmetics that have come into the game recently or have been in the game for a really long time that really don't look great at all. 
Like, the game would have been fine without them. Now, I know that there has to be some hats which don't look as good as others in the game, and that's just kind of the way it works. But there's so many hats that are in the game that just won't really get worn ever. So it seems a bit of a waste of time to have them. On one hand, it's a very TF2 thing to have hats like that, just in case somebody did want to make it a horrible looking loadout with them. But on the other side, there's so many talented people making stuff for the workshop. I do think some of the quality of the cosmetics that make it in could be way higher and we can actually get some more original ideas coming into the game. Now, at this point, I do really agree with, but at the same time, I don't make cosmetics. I don't know how to add them into the game myself either. I cannot, for the life of me, do better than any of the people who have made things that have got accepted into the game. So please, by all means, just ignore me on this one. I just like nice hats, and I think some of the hats that got put into TF2 recently could have been a bit better. Especially with so many people in the workshop making such amazing looking items. And that's not even me saying that all of the items that got put in recently over the last couple of years have been bad either. There's been so many amazing cosmetics recently as well, but the bad ones are the ones that will always kind of stick out. So there we have it. They are three more controversial opinions. I think the only one I really heavily agreed with was the cosmetics one, but also like the bots being quite fun. Sometimes, yeah, I see that, but other times you do just want them out. And I also disagree that TF2 is dead. I, I really enjoy it. I still will be playing it for a long time. And I think the community around this game is also really strong. But anyway, that is going to do it for the video, guys. I hope you all enjoyed it. If you did, please make sure you leave this video a like and also check out all my social links in the description down below as well, especially my Twitter if you want to get involved in videos like this in the future. But anyway, thank you all so much for watching the video. I hope you all enjoyed it and I will see you next time. Goodbye.